Hi, Jimmy. Hey, how hey. are you, Jimmy? Hi, Dennis. Hey. I've hey. had the privilege of interviewing Dennis before, and Jimmy, what an honor it is to speak with you. Thank you, Hello, likewise. Hello, Latino in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start with you, Jimmy. Um, you have a beautiful testimony within itself. Um, oh, thank how you. Do you relate to this film, um, and I have a faith audience, and I love that the film has faith infused to it. So, how would you say um, your character yeah. relates to your life and and the faith aspect? I mean, it, it, that's the thing. Is is um, like you had mentioned, my stories is. is somewhat similar to Omar's and, and the kids at Omar is, uh, is taken care of. And, um, you know, challenges, you know, you, I don't think that you can get through life without having to face tremendous challenges. And if, and if you want to dream and live beyond like what is society is telling you to be, then, then you're going to face even more challenges. And so this film was about, Oftentimes, like having just faith in the fact that things are going to work out. Yeah, that's awesome. Dennis, um, I love that you keep lending your talents to inspiring entertainment. That's such a blessing to all of us. Um, in the film, Omar, the mentor, he tells these orphan boys, um, you know, God hears me every time. Pray to God and he will help. Um, you listen to that quote. What, what do you think about when you hear something like that? Uh, well, really to get to my character, he was a person who has really had his focus on the wrong things and mm -hmm. forgotten, you know, become a very jaded person. And uh, in the course of this movie, he was humbled. And by being humble, that's when... God's miracles are allowed to work. Yeah. Mm, Once we get out of the way. Right. <laughs> and usually we have to get humbled in order for us to finally yeah, pay attention, true. right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Recurring theme. <laughs> <laughs> it all oh, why are we like this? <laughs> Jimmy, talk about the importance of mentorship. Um, yeah. You know, these boys' lives were changed because of somebody like Omar in their lives. Mm -hmm. Talk to that mm -hmm. because... We need that in this world, people like Omar. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I think that the, the, the best mentors I've ever had in my life were ones that, that they had something I wanted and they knew like in my own life and they, and they were able to share it with me in a way where it didn't, felt, it didn't feel like it was a hierarchy. It just felt like, you know, you, you, you can be a part of this as well you know, and some subtle suggestions here and there and taking some cues from, from people. And I think that only happens as men, Dennis just mentioned when, when you get out of your own way, you know, and, and when you get out, when I got out of my own way, those mentors showed up. So they, it was extremely important for me and my journey and still is. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Dennis, how, well, the themes of generosity, honesty, faith and perseverance, um, why are messages like that so important, especially after the year we all had? <laughs> um, why is it important to share that? Well, uh, it's, it's, well, because we, uh, we, you know, we're all human beings and we all have to try it our way first and <laughs> keep trying the same through, keep trying the same solution over and over again. That's kind of like that you know, to no results. That's kind of the measure of insanity. And it's really by getting out of our own way. We need to, to learn that uh, a lot more. And it's ongoing, you know, it doesn't just have like, you learn it and forget it. It's something it's, you know, comes up again and again in life. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much. It was a pleasure. You bet. Thank you. Have a great Take day. Care.